guys, um, I'm back again with another 30th anniversary figure review. And this time, it's the Green Ranger, uh, Tommy, who is, pardon me, sorry guys, without a doubt, my favourite ranger ever, as if you guys hadn't noticed. Um, so, you may notice something with this figure. I'm not going to tell you because I want you to um, see if you can spot it. But anyway, uh, let's have a look at the box. So coming around to the side, you get um, writing that says uh, what it is. Coming around to the back now, you get a shot of what you get in the uh, box. Um, Coming around to the other side now, you get an absolutely awesome shot of the team, which they haven't done yet, but I know they are releasing the artwork for free online at the, that they've done for these. Um, so, and then coming back around to the front, you also get an awesome picture of the uh, Green Ranger, aka Tommy Oliver, aka Jason David Prey. Um, which looks absolutely fantastic. If you guys spot what's um, missing, let me know in the comments. I know all of you will because it's pretty obvious to tell, but um, I know some of you that may not because... Um, just before I show you the main thing, I'll quickly say this. The reason I say some of you may not is I know that some people only watched up to like um, the Green of Evil series and then stopped and thought, right, we've seen the best bits that I wanted to see and then people have stopped and then when Once and Always came along, people were like, great, yeah, my child has had, finally had something special. But then there's one thing in particular that happened on Twitter at the time. It was called Twitter, but it's now called X. Um, and... Um, what had actually happened was someone had wrote um, who who is this uh, blonde chick meaning Catherine Sutherland meaning basically they hadn't watched up until the point where Kimberly left they just kind of watched the first eight, nine, ten episodes, whatever, and they'd not watched up until that point. So of course, when Once and Always came on, they were like, where's Kimberly? Who the hell's this blonde chick? And so many people commented that it's Catherine Sutherland, and uh, the guy put that 
I've never heard of her before. It's like, dude, if you're a fan of Power Rangers, if you're a proper fan of Power Rangers, you would have heard of her. It's like, even Steve Cardenas, they, they said, um, uh, that he, Jason, looks completely different. And, um, so many people commented saying that's not Jason meaning the Red Ranger that's uh, Steve Cardenas Rocky the Red Ranger so I find it weird that only some people have watched up to 8 or 9 episodes and then disappeared for 5 or however many years and then come back to it 30 years later and they don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, back onto the thing. I got a little bit distracted then. I've been distracted a lot more than that. Um, but anyway, let's uh, have a look at the thing out of the box, shall we? So, I have all the accessories and him out. Um, one thing I'll say just before I turn the turntable on and give me a spin of him is that one of the things that I noticed with these 30th anniversary figures, well, there's a couple of things really they've put the black um, outlining on the top and bottom rim of the belt and another thing I noticed is and to my recollection I don't think any other thing is I have from the lightning section have done this but these ones seem to come in the box with their civilian heads on which just seems a little bit weird to me but there you go so The green looks absolutely perfect. The diamonds and stuff in the suit, perfect. In fact, they've done a lot better on their diamonds than what they have in uh, previous releases of uh, these Rangers. Um, and it's going to come round again in a minute. Hit the camera. Well, not hit the camera, but you know, guys, you know what I mean. You'll be able to see the black striping thing going around the edge of the belt. Um, but as I said, looks fantastic. Um, I think the civilian head is great. Now, I wouldn't say it's completely perfect, but I would say it's probably 90% perfect-ish. Um, you can tell it's him, but... Um, can tell it's him but there is um, some things that you find that happen that um, that yeah, that uh, don't seem right to me I can't put my finger on them but there are some things that don't seem right to me 
But then uh, that could just be he's younger here and if you look up older like pictures of him now he's uh, a lot older I mean he he literally just turned 50 on the 4th of September um, but carry on with it now before I show you the accessories did you spot what's missing? If you did, leave it in the comments. If you didn't, wait until my next review, which is, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, but uh, he seemed to have a absolute ton of accessories. I think he has more accessories than any of the other rangers. At least to me, I think that anyway. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll start with the biggest ones first, which are these effects pieces, which I absolutely love. These are to go round them to, I think, to make it look as though they've teleported. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure. And these, the I love the colour of these. And these designs are all different on each one of these figures. Um... And obviously they're all different colours. Um, one thing I will say is these are pretty solid, they're not bendable, so don't try and bend them because they will snap. Um, and you get two of these, which I think <laughs> are the same. But one actually might be a bit smaller. Uh, I'm not sure. But I do love the colour of, of this. Um, it's almost like a lime green, but not quite. <laughs> if that kind of makes sense. But uh, I love the fact you get these. Um, <laughs> and another thing you get which we've never actually got before with the figure at all um, from from when the from when Power Rangers first started up until now we never had one of these um, nearly dropped it. <laughs> and what it is, and I think you guys all know, because it's pretty obvious, it's the uh, green candle, which looks absolutely fantastic. Now, I do have one little gripe with this. The uh, stand for the candle is meant to be bright gold. And it's kind of a mustardy kind of gold, uh, so to speak. But it does have like a flame on top, which weirdly they've done that gold as well, which I actually never noticed before, when it actually should have been green, I think. If I remember correctly. Um, and one thing I will say with these uh, candles, it's a bit hit or miss whether they'll stand or not. Um, because some of the ones I've seen 
they don't stand, but then some I have seen where they stand they're absolutely perfect. And I've also seen ones that have been slightly bent where they've been packaged in the box, but uh, can't be helped really. Yeah. So now I'm going to move on to the helmet. Um, <laughs> if I can get a hold of it. So this is the Green Ranger helmet. And I think this might be a new sculpt of the Green Ranger helmet. It looks different to the other Green Ranger helmets we had. So I think this is a new sculpt. Um, I love the shininess, the glossy, the gloss on it rather. Just looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and they've just nailed the diamond detail. And here's the uh, ball joint hole which uh, slips onto the ball joint which actually goes on quite easily. Um, so the next accessory I'm going to move on to is of course the iconic Dragon Dagger. Um, which again if I can hold it um, try and hold it like that because in my hand isn't in the way which again is very well painted um, am I holding it up the right way? yes very well painted the gold looks great even the uh, green on the blaze. Now, I do have one, uh, it's not really a gripe, but it's something that I think could have been done a bit better. The silver on the blade is not meant to be that thin. The actual blade bit should have been a bit thicker. Um, but the, I'm not really complaining. I'm just saying, pointing out that that's what that should have been. I mean, hey, at least we got the dragon now. Yeah, there has been figures in the past where we've actually not got the Dragon Dagger, which really annoyed a lot of people that at that time forced the company to make them and send them out free of charge. Uh, I think that was, I think it was Bandai. But I could be wrong on that. And even the symbol for the Dragon Coin on the Dragon Dagger looks awesome, absolutely awesome. Um, the back is also very detailed, um, which is also awesome. But one thing I will say is the bed, the the bed, excuse me, the blade is um, a bit bendy, so make sure you don't bend it out or snap it. <laughs> um, because if you snap it, you'll be screwed 
If you just bend it, you might be able to bend it back in shape by warming it up. Um, and then on to the next accessory, or should I say accessories, are the <coughs> uh, blade blasters, which he has three of. Um, now, who can tell me, I can, I know what to, but who can tell me the episodes other than the Cream of Evil, uh, part one, who can tell me which other episodes of Mighty Morphin did Janie F have the Blade Blaster? Or at least use the Blade Blaster. And that's not encountering the Cream of Evil to mini series thing. Because I know all about that. I'm just asking you guys whether you know any of the other episodes. Now, I do, but I just want to know whether you guys can guess. And if one of you guys can guess, or even if two of you guys can guess, I'll give you a shout-out in the video. I'll give you a shout-out in the video. But anyway, the first flame blaster is the folded-up one, which can go in the holsters now I'm not sure whether it will go into JDF's holster because on on that the Cream of Evil episodes he actually had the normal belt on which had the normal white holster which pardon me this fitted in I mean it probably would fit in his black one but but uh, yeah these are quite well detailed which is surprising um, and also I'll tell you another thing that is pretty cool um, just before I move on to the next one the lightning section in 3-0 blade blasters are pretty much the same size so you can swap them <laughs> if you wanted to <laughs> Don't drop it, Aaron. So this is the uh, blade blaster. Sorry, guys. In gun mode, I'll pick him up in a minute. Um, and again, it's very well detailed, and I I love it. Um, just looks absolutely awesome. I mean, if if there's one thing you could have done better on these blade blasters, is put Power Rangers on the white bit like it's supposed to be, and also the teeth bit on the end here it's meant to be silver <laughs> so and then the last blade blast it is hang on let me, let me that 
Then the last play, the last set is actually in played mode. Now, when we first got mine, mine was a little bit bent from where it was in the box. So we did have to warm it up, bend it back in shape, and uh, let it cool down to get it straight again. Um, but again, I say if you leave these either in hot water or hold them under the hairdryer for too long, they will melt. Um, but yeah, here's the blade blaster in blade mode, which again looks absolutely awesome. Um, love it. I actually wasn't expecting them to include any of the blade blasters, let alone all three of them. Uh, just seemed a bit crazy to me. Um, and then, yeah, let me quickly the sand him back up, guys. Stay. Um, now, the next accessory I have to be really careful of. And I mean really careful. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure how I'm going to hold this. Uh, hold it up the right way. Now this is his Morpher. The Green Ranger Morpher which they've given you hands to where they can hold them and do the morphing sequence. Um, but whatever you do, do not lose these. Whatever you do, do not lose them. And also, I'm not saying you will, but if you're buying these for your kids, keep this out of the way because they could swallow them. Well, they could swallow any of them, to be fair. Obviously, apart from the Green Ranger himself and the uh, huge green bits. Um, now, onto the hands, which. He does have a slight odd number of. He has five hands. Um, he's an author over there. So, this is a fist hand. Which normally come, you used to at one point come on them. Um, and then it all changed. But even has the uh, lines on the gloves, like it's been stitched in. Um, now, This hand is to hold the morpher. It slides on there. Now, I believe we might have one or two hands like this or similar to this. Um, which I believe 
is this hand I think but I'm not sure um, I have to try and do it Let's see um, this might also be the dragon flute hand reason I say that is because the way the fingers are um, and um, and actually this hand might be the hand that you use for the top of the morpher so it kind of looks like it's that kind of style of hand um, and the I think the very last hand I have is the or is it this hand? Yeah, it's this hand. No, it's not. It come here. Just fighting with the hands there, guys, and the hands were winning. Uh, this is the fifth hand plus the hands he's got on him. And that's all the accessories. Now, I absolutely love him. I really do. Um, I would say um, all probably all the Green Rangers they've released so far. <sighs> Tough one, but I'd say. This one is probably the best so far. Um, and no, I'm not, I'm not being biased. Well, maybe just a little bit. But why not? But the one thing that kind of annoys me is, and I'll say this now, and this isn't about him, but this is the 30th anniversary set of MMPR figures. But yet they've not done the White Ranger. And I don't know why. That just seems really weird to me. But anyway. 10 out of 10 for him. Absolutely love him. Highly recommend him. I think they're still available on Hasbro Pumps, but I'm not sure. Um, so you'll have to go and have a look. But I think they are, I'm not sure. Um, and actually, I've just heard this one thing they haven't included with him. The Sword of Darkness. That's only just twigged on me that I can't release that with him. Um, and you would think it being a 30th anniversary set, they would have released it with him. So that, that is a little disappointing. Oh, I give it a lower score now, though. I'm going to give it one lower, so I'm actually going to give it 9 out of 10. Just because they've not got that. If they had that, it would have been 10 out of 10, but... Because they don't, it's going to get a 9 out of 10. But I do think it looks great, and I do highly recommend him. Well, in fact, I highly recommend all of these figures. But, uh, 
Yeah, other than not having the sword darkness, everything is absolutely fantastic on him. Um, and I will see you in the next one.